Welcome to South Florida Saltwater Fishing. I'm Heath and it's Tips and Tricks Thursday. In this episode, I'm going to go over how to rig a sea witch. And at the end of the video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a couple of tips on what to look for and how to make your own bonita strips. Before we get into this video though, do us a favor, hit the subscribe button, give this video a like, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. All right, everybody, you know what time it is. Let's do this. All right, to rig a sea witch, you're gonna need a few items to be able to set it up properly so you can go trolling. First thing you're gonna need is your sea witches. These are my two favorite. I got a blue and white, and then I got a sort of iridescent green. All right. Then I got a set of 6-0 double hooks, mustad, thick wire, barrel swivel, size, uh, I believe that's a 7-0. Uh, a Got about six feet, seven feet of 40 pound leader, which is a trilene. Simple stuff, buy it from Walmart. And then you're gonna need a pair of, uh, you know, cutting tools. All right. So, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna run your leader through your sea witch. Now, be sure, I've seen people hook sea witches up like this before and put their hooks back here. This is improper. If a sea witch looks like it's done backwards, which is like this, you're doing it right. So it's actually gonna fan out and troll the bait back here on the short end. The hooks will actually be back here. So it should look almost backwards like this when trolled properly. So I'm gonna rig my more favorite of my two, which is the green one. It's uh, got some white, almost fiber optic looking stuff, and then it's got iridescent little green tinsel on it. So, what you do is you fan it out and you thread your leader. There's almost, let me show you this before I do it. If you look down in here, there's a little head to it. This little piece right here, that's a little weight. It weighs about a quarter ounce and it's got little eyes and stuff on it. Little decals from the company. Let me see if I can show you. Um, makes no difference if it's painted or not. But what you're gonna wanna do is it's got a hole in it and we're gonna thread our leader through there. So, pull that all the way through, almost. And then on this side with the short hairs is the side where your hooks are gonna go. Again, because you, when you troll it, you want it to fan out backwards like this being pulled through the water all right so tie your hooks on with a simple clinch knot I use double hooks in case because uh, most of the time you're going for toothy critters um, but I, I tend to rather uh, increase my hookup ratio so I go with straight mono instead of wire. You can go with mon with wire if you want to. It's just a little more tricky to get the tip of your wire to feed back up through your uh, the little uh, weighted head of it. So you might want to put a swivel on at the uh, top of your haywire twist instead of tying your haywire twist directly to your hooks should you use wire. But regardless, I'm going to do it with mono. Tie a simple clinch knot. Good to go. Pull against it. Make it tight. Make sure it's not going away. If your knot looks sketchy, retie it. It's not good. If it looks messed up, it should look perfect. Then you're going to take this and you're going to droop it down. Next, we're going to go to 
the main line portion of that will hook up to your the portion of your leader the other end that will hook up to your main line to your reel and we're going to tie on a barrel swivel it's fairly simple to rig up a sea witch but hooking up the bait to it is what can be the interesting part so you tie another clinch knot to your swivel And then you're going to trim off the tag end. All right. And that is basic of how to rig up the sea witch. Now I'm going to show you how to hook up the bait to it. All right. So the bait that you hook up is normally a strip bait. I have simulated here my favorite bait to hook up, which is a bonita strip. You can use barracuda, you can use mullet, you can even troll a whole sardine back behind it if you're careful with the way you hook it up. Regardless, um, this is what you'll want to do. It, it, you can troll it bare just like this, or you can troll it with a strip bait. I recommend pulling a strip bait behind it. Now, when you troll a sea witch, you can troll it at, uh, you know, three to probably six or seven knots. I wouldn't go much faster because what will happen is if you're trolling a strip bait is it'll tend to, to pull on it a lot and it'll elongate it and stretch it out and your bait might not seem as appealing. Okay, so to hook up a strip bait, lots of folks like to put a little wire here and they hook it up here and here and um and they go with this little wire through the front of it and they'll hook it up here and make it a j shape and tie it around the top of their hook i don't do that i actually just put my hook straight in it so i can hook it up and go so what i do when i'm hooking up my strip bait is i lay lay out my strip I measure it out. I'm gonna put this hook right up here, which will be the dragging point, and this hook, which will probably most likely uh, set the hook in the fish's mouth. So once I got it measured out, I'm gonna um, sink in the back hook first, once I know where it's going. So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna drive it through the strip. And we're good to go there. Now, also one other thing, when you're trolling a strip bait, you want your, this side would be the skin side. You want the meat side down toward with the hook spacing out. I'll show you that when I get into showing you actual Bonita strip here in a moment. So once we've got the back hook set, you take this hook and you sort of make it perpendicular and you are going to fish it right through the front end of it. Drive it through. And then you straighten your whole rig out. And now when you pull it through water, it'll go perfectly straight. You'll have your Benitas. You'll have your Sea Witch up here. And it's going to be fanned out backwards and pulling Behind that, very attractive to fish, looks like lots of bubbles. Golden, money bait for kingfish, sailfish. So, this is your sea witch tied on with a bonita strip. And it'll fan out backwards as it pulls through the water. It's going to look more like this. And it'll be being pulled through the water. And you've got your strip bait behind it. This is great trolling for tuna, kingfish, sailfish, dolphin, wahoo. You can, this is a super versatile bait. I recommend using this actually, if you're gonna troll ballyhoo, I recommend using the sea witch over the old school thinking of using like a skirt on top of your ballyhoo. Sea witches are definitely the way to go. They are deadly. They're, they're very, they're, they're, they're a high attractant towards fish especially the toothy critters. This particular color right here is a kingfish nabber. They go after this sort of green iridescent white colored one, hooked on with a bonita strip, you're golden all day long. 
this will catch you uh, kingfish as soon as you find them and you get on the fish again. If you're trolling, you're trolling something like this, be smart. Look at your fish finder, find structure under the water and go with it from there, troll over. All right, so these are bonita strips. They're about six to eight inches long. They're made from the underside of the bonita, not the belly portion, not really. That, that tends to be less stinky. This is about, oh, about an eighth of inch of meat on top of skin. Let me see, I'll take one out. I'll show you what it looks like here. It looks like this. Now, the interesting thing about a bonita strip is this is the back end that tails when you're trolling it. This is the front end where you would hook your hook. If you ever buy them or if you make them, the way to do it is this is the tail of your fish. You work your way from the back to the front. You can see, if you buy it from someone, you can actually see that the meat, the lines of the meat go the right way. You always wanna look at your meat and make sure this, the meat is actually kind of cut in diagonally. If it's cut backwards, it's not gonna work. It's gonna stretch out and elongate and it, it won't work. Also, if you make your own, you can also ask your bait store, make sure they brine it in salt. It turns it tough as nails and leather so that it won't stretch out and it will maintain its integrity as you troll it. Bonita strips are very stinky. Lots of toothy critters like them. Again, sea witch with a bonita strip. Many, many fish like it. It is super versatile. You can go deep, you can go shallow. It, they work across the board for it. Definitely got my vote when it comes to what I tend to troll behind a boat if I'm trolling a bait. All right, folks, that about does it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed, hope you learned something. I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday for our Sunday showdown that's going on. The weather's supposed to calm down. Hopefully we can get out and catch some good fish for you. All right, everybody, till next time, South Florida saltwater fishing, over and out.